And one more thing I have to bring up because you are perfect to comment on this. A tweet from Sana Saeed, who is an Al Jazeera journalist. She tweets, the release of this statement, uh, the release of this statement coming right as news begins to spread about the ICJ ruling um, and ahead of press briefings is a cynical attempt to change the news of the day. And then she tweet, and then she is quote tweeting new, the state department has put a temporary hold on funding for UNRWA, the main UN agency in Gaza, following allegations that 12 UNRWA employees were involved in Hamas's October 7th attacks in Israel. And sure enough, I have to say, her prediction is 100% true because I was talking to someone on the phone, a relative, and I mentioned that I was doing a stream tonight about this. And they said, oh, it's all so terrible what's happening. And it looks like um, there were people on the UNRWA payroll who were involved in October 7th. That's the response to my saying I'm doing a stream about the genocide case against Israel. Yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence at all. And I mean, a couple of things I'll say about that. One is that Israel has always hated UNRWA because UNRWA represents a lifeline that prevents them from totally destroying civilian life in Gaza. If it weren't for UNRWA, because of the, 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 the caged reality of Palestinians, the permanent refugee status of Palestinians in uh, in Palestine, Palestinians wouldn't have the health care and the education and the housing and uh, and the humanitarian assistance and other things that they need. And so that's a threat to Israel's ethno-nationalist plan for the occupied territories. And so they have for years worked to try to attack and discredit, and they've made false charges for years. Now, in this case, I don't know if any of these, you know, there are thousands of UNRWA employees in Gaza because it's it's the main employer in Gaza. And it includes people who are teachers and doctors and engineers and uh, uh, and janitors and drivers and uh, and all sorts of people among those thousands. So it's not impossible that some of them, when when the when the escape happened from the cage, that some of them escaped as well uh, in that. Um, and uh, I saw today from the UN spokesperson that they actually fired these people. But, it, but the way they described it is like firing them and they're investigating. Well, it seems to me you would investigate and then fire them. Hmm. Right. So I don't know if they got some confirmation. But what concerns me about this is that the accusations came from Shin Bet and other Israeli intelligence officials based upon interrogation of suspects that they were holding. In other words, people who were tortured said that these UNRWA people were also uh participating in in october 7th so it's possible uh but i am not going to be convinced until i see an independent investigation uh in into this question because of the source because of pre previous false accusations and even if some of them did that's not an indictment of unra unra is the largest employer in the occupied territories because israel doesn't allow any other private trade and things to uh, 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 and a normal economy for uh, for Palestinians. So even if, I mean, you take any organization with thousands of employees, right. some of them are going to commit some crimes. Right. That's just the nature, the nature of the beast. That said, here's the worst part. The population of Gaza have been battered and brutalized and had a genocide perpetrated on them. They've had their homes and their entire infrastructure destroyed. They're starving. They're dying of disease. They will. The survivors will rely upon a well-functioning UNRWA. That's going to be the difference between life and death today and for many, many days and weeks and months going forward. The United States of America chose at this moment to cut off funding to UNRWA in spite of the fact that the commissioner general fired all of these people just on the basis of allegations coming from the torture services of Israel. And that wasn't enough because the US wants to participate in causing the Palestinian people of Gaza to suffer so that it can satisfy its Israeli partners that it's being as vicious and malicious as they are uh, in inside of Gaza. I think that's an absolutely horrific statement about the moral depravity of our own government in its Middle East, uh, in its Middle East policy. Wait for the investigation, except that some people have been fired. Um, uh, but why would you cut off funding to, to UNRWA 
What what is the motivation for this? If not to assist Israel in its broader plans of the ethnic purge of Gaza, there is no other explanation that makes logical sense. It's just terrible, and it's and it. I don't know what we're going to do so that people know how to react to that news in a way that's not, oh, look how bad things are. It turns out there were people in the UN participating October 7th, because then once again, it's all about vilifying the Palestinians and the Israelis are just victims. Yeah. And it's, and it's about justifying the targeting of UN compounds and right. uh, UN shelters and UN schools and UN, I mean, this is, this is the game that they've played for, for a very long time. Look, you know, this propaganda war is going to go on and on and on and on, but in the end, you know, it, it has been going on all along. They have their, their complicit media outlets that will report whatever it is they want to report. They have news outlets that refuse to play South Africa's case in the hearing against uh, Israel, but then played in its entirety Israel's defense. Uh, and that's, you know, that's, that's always going to exist, but it's not working anymore. Most people have figured out this game. Uh, it has taken, unfortunately, the, moder the martyring of tens of thousands of innocent civilians to, to, to get the story to get out. But I don't think that genie is going back in the bottle, whatever propaganda campaign the Israelis and their, and their U.S. allies decide to, uh, to, to, to embrace. Yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem if it turns out to be true. But it just needs, if it does turn out to be true, and we don't know given the source, but if it does turn out to be true, it needs to be put in the context of thousands of people, a handful of whom turned out to commit crimes, which is true of every organization. I'd like to make a list of all of the people employed by the United States government who are committing crimes. Well, that's that's actually the entire. <laughs> yeah, you, you, your hand would really get sore. It's the entire administration. Whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I mean, really, you know, people have to keep these Better things in, in context and not be manipulated by these sort of transparent propaganda efforts.